first time hatching chickens. So I just got the incubator. It's a Genesis 1588 Hovivator model. So this one. And we're gonna set it up. So this is the bottom. This is the humidity tray. It comes out. You have to line up this notch and with these, like it says. Then we have the top. I have the one with the automatic, ooh, the automatic control center because I've, the internet said that would be easier and this is my first time, so that's what we're doing. So then you got the power supply. So plug the power supply into the thing, just like a laptop. Then this plugs into here. And then this plugs into the outlet. And the fan runs. Yay! So I plan to be super lazy while hatching my eggs, so I got an automatic egg turner. Let's put it together. Alright, so it took me a second, but I figured out how to use the egg turner. For some reason, they want, or to be able to line each of these up correctly, you have to take all of these pins out, the washers out, and then you, this pops off here, and then you lay them out flat, like it says, and then you put this thing back together, snap it on, and then you put the washer and clap, the little clamps, then you pop it onto this. So they want you to level it so it's all even, but then when you pop it, it'll probably be, be angled like this one. Then you set the egg turner down. You want to get it where the cord goes through this little notch right here. Just like that. First, there's a humidity liner. And it recommends you put only water in the number one section. So that would be this one. You can't read it, but this is number one, two, three, and four. Depend that will decide your humidity. So you want to fill that up. And you want to make sure the water goes all the way around it. You kind of just saw the water go. Be careful not to put it on anything else because that will change your humidity. Alright, so I plugged it in. This is what it says. It says to let it the incubator run for an hour before you put eggs in. So that's what we're going to do. I forgot to put the incubator floor in, so then... Then the egg turner, and then the top. Okay, it's been an hour. I went ahead and put all my chickadees in there. I went ahead and decided that I was gonna do all the ones that have the potential to be showgirls. And then I have two that are green, and then two that'll be either Cochin's showgirls or Cochin Silkies. So I can't wait to see them. Humidity needs to go up again because I had to open it to get it, but. Here we go. Hey guys, so it's day 17 of the incubator and one almost exploded on me. Um, so that one had to go out immediately like it was boiling and super gross. So I'll post a picture on that one. But then, so I started with 41 eggs. One almost exploded, it was so bad. Um, another one had definitely a bad smell to it. And then I think nine more were, um, I just candled them and they weren't developing at all. So they either were clear, um, which means you could see right through them, there wasn't veins or anything, or they had a blood ring, which meant that it started developing, but something went wrong and it stopped developing. So we are down to 30 eggs in the incubator and that's perfectly okay. Um, I have taken out the turner and I have filled up the humidity water and we are on lockdown for hatching. So most of my eggs are Bantam eggs which means you're supposed to, they have 
a li higher likelihood of hatching around day 18. So you're supposed to lock them down on day 16, but I forgot yesterday. So we're on day 17, we're on lockdown, um, and then I have some full grown eggs, full sized eggs too. So those will have to stay in the incubator till day 21 at least. Um, and we should have some chicks to tomorrow or in the next couple days. Um, a few of them, when I candled them, I actually saw their little feet move. So I'm really excited. So I'll let you know how it goes. So I just wanted you to see the eggs. I have four eggs that were hatched by a mama hen outside. I'll put pictures of those in here. And those are so cute, but not a single one of them have turned out to be naked necks, which I'm breeding for showgirls. So we will see. Um, the humidity will get up. It should be between 55 and 65. So I just put the top back on after taking the egg turner out. So yay! I have my first pip. Can you see it? The little cracks in that egg? Oh, it's so exciting! I'm on day 20. Um, I think, yeah, day 20. And there it is! It's the start! About 4.30, so we'll see you back in a few hours. I actually have two pips! See over there? This, this one? This one right here? The one right next to the green it's also got a little crack in its shell so it can take eggs up to 24 hours sometimes more to completely or chicks to completely hatch out of eggs so we will see Baby, your brother's ready to see you. We're sisters. 